Welcome back. In this video, we'll be going over the different ways you can connect to your MicroTik router besides Winbox. So Winbox is a great tool, but it's not always practical. Maybe your company blocks executable files and you can't use Winbox, or you just you're, you, you don't enjoy using a graphical user interface, so you want to do it the good old fashioned command line way. There's always those ways to connect to your device. So we'll be going over that now. I'm just going to switch my screen quickly. So here's Winbox, try test it. We could see it works just fine, but we're going to use uh, WebFig to quickly access the router. So if I go onto my browser and I find the IP address, it is important to note that you need the IP address to connect via WebFig. You can't connect with the MAC address. So I'm just going to connect with that IP, which is 192.168.1.100. And this is just a straight HTTP connection. It's not HTTPS, which is also a little bit unsecure if you think about it. And there you go. Now we're on the MikroTik device. And you get different options or different tabs. Quick set is effectively the same as the configuration for or the default configuration. But quick set allows you to tune the settings however you want. So you can quickly make the IP address for the network, whatever you want it to be. You can select if the NAT should be on or off. Uh, you can set the router identity, check for updates, reset the configuration. Just very important, make sure that you click the apply configuration if you are going to use Quick Set to configure your device. So if you don't want to use Quick Set, you can go to the WebFig. And this is exactly like Winbox, just in a browser interface. So here you can go to all of the same things as on Winbox and configure things the same way. Um, but it's just for your it's, it's over HTTP. And lastly, we get the terminal on WebFig. So from WebFig, you can actually access the terminal and then you can work through the command line like you could uh, do via a straight SSH or Telnet session, which we're going to look at now. So besides uh, WebFig, which we is done through the browser, we're going to now just open up a PuTTY session and I can either Telnet to the IP address of the router, 192.168.1.100. And it'll ask me login, I can type in admin and blank. And then I'm in the MicroTik device. Alrighty, and besides accessing the terminal through WebFig or through a PuTTY or secure CRT or whatever application you prefer, you can do it through Winbox as well. So we can just go into Winbox, connect to our MicroTik router or MicroTik, uh, hit connect. And then we're in Winbox, and then from Winbox, you can navigate to the new terminal window, and this will open up a terminal similar to WebFig that you can use the command line from. In the next video, we'll be going over Winbox a little bit more in detail, just explaining everything that's in it. Thanks.